Thank you. So, hey everybody, Alex. Um, actually in from Toronto tonight, so it worked out pretty lucky. I'm here to talk about Ember Cordova. I did a vaguely similar talk at EmberConf. This won't be repeat stuff. But if you're interested in like how performance works or how to make these go zoom, probably look there and not covering any of that. Uh, Ember Cordova is actually a library that I'm one of the main maintainers of. Uh, we actually started as a fork of Ember CLI Cordova. We need a better naming convention here. Uh, Ember CLI Cordova at this point is basically deprecated. The last commit to that was me right before EmberConf saying, don't use this library, nobody updates it. Uh, last time anybody ever touched it. Uh, but just to credit them, we did start as a fork out of that library. Basically, we ended up lead maintainers, didn't want to maintain bad legacy, and decided to do a hard fork and change what we needed to do. So I'm going to run through a couple of things and go through a live demo of just what this library does. For those who don't know, what Cordova does is it basically lets you build native mobile applications that are wrapped in a web view. Uh, sometimes you'll hear negative things in terms of, you know, Cordova or PhoneGap performance isn't as good as what you'd like to see. Uh, the reality is you can nine times out of ten hit the performance that you need to hit. It's honestly just understanding how, like don't reflow mid through an animation and just your basic rules that maybe you're a little bit looser with if you're working on a desktop. So to get started with Ember Cordova, obviously you need an Ember project, then just Ember install Ember Cordova. This will do two things for you. It will actually go through and make sure Cordova is a dependency of your machine now and it'll give you a warning if you don't have Cordova installed globally. That's not something we do on your behalf. It feels a little bit weird for a package to install a global dependency. We'll also go through and actually create the Cordova directory inside your Ember project for you. It doesn't actually brick it. You can still ship for web if you want. It's completely isolated from there. So I'm going to go through hooks first because then we're going to switch to a live demo. But one thing we actually added to this library is hooks. So imagine that within Cordova, you're going through and you know, building an iOS app, building an Android app, or you're running this thing called Prepare. And imagine Prepare is the Cordova equivalent of NPM install, where we're going through and reinstalling any plugins that we're using specific to a phone or any platforms that we're using. If you don't like that syntax, the reality is nobody does. Cordova predates NPM, still doesn't use package JSON, still uses XML files. That's why sometimes our conventions are a little bit funny. Uh, we have hooks there so that if you're about to do a build and you need to warn somebody, you know, make sure you submit your App Store keys properly, or you're doing an Android-specific build and you want to maybe change your platform a little bit, that's what you'd use a hook for. Uh, one thing I actually added in the library last week as well, uh, Splash is coming, but we now also handle all of your icon and Splash generation for you for the phone devices. So if you've never built a Cordova app before, one of the worst things in the world is you need about 20 different icon sizes, depending on what platforms you're shipping for. Same with Splash. And if you get one of them wrong, quite often you'll just be treated with a white or gray screen of death and the app looks like garbage. So what we're actually doing for you now, this is all documented on the README, is if you give us a single splash.svg and a single icon.svg, we'll look at every single platform you're shipping for, resize the SVG to the right thing, if you're dealing with Splash, which have different dimensions, we actually handle that for you too and add white space based on your border coloring. And we'll go and import that to the platform for you. So just quickly running through what this library does, and I'm going to demo live reload for you. Uh, Cordova build up the top. I'm only not demoing these because we're a lightning talk, don't have time to run through a full build process. What that will do is it will run Ember build for you. It will then go through and copy all of your assets over to your Cordova directory, which is at Ember Cordova slash Cordova. And then it will run a Cordova build of the chosen platform for you. So a single command, you basically take an Ember, compiled it, moved it to the phone, and made sure that will work. Open is just for the lazy hackers like me. If you pass it a platform of iOS, it will open the Xcode project for you. If you pass it Android, it will open the Android Studio project for you. That's actually configurable as well. Prepare here is basically, again, the NPM install of Cordova world. Link is actually just going to recopy over assets. So sometimes when I'm debugging, I'll actually go in and change you know, something in the hard Cordova files just to see if it's working. Link will just basically keep resetting that back to my last state for me. So if we're going to demo, we can actually do live reload on a phone. You don't even need to be connected to the uh, machine. Uh, you actually can ship that to the App Store if you want to. I would really suggest you don't because it's still questionable whether you're allowed to. Um, but for development environments and things like that, it's really nice to see your changes straight away. And this last command down here is basically just a proxy. Uh, sometimes it's 2 a.m. and I don't feel like typing in CD Cordova to run a native Cordova command. If you're willing to wait for the extra five seconds it takes to pipe a command through Ember, which probably not, you can do that. Last thing here before we do a demo, so we actually have a Cordova service as well. So for those who aren't familiar, the Cordova container will emit events of what a user's doing on the phone. 
like, hey, my network just got spotty, hey, my battery just hit 10%, user just hit the volume button, whatever we're looking for. So again, if you go to our documentation, it's pretty good for stuff like this. We actually have all of these events bound to Ember services for you. So you can just, in any route, in any component, say, you know, if the user goes offline, I want you to react differently. Or if the user goes home and closes the app, I need you to do a graceful teardown. We give you the ability to do all of those things as well. Oops, let's go back here. So to show you live reload here, I'm actually just going to do a build to a simulator on iPad Air. Is that big enough? Yeah, so it's not a very pretty app. This is just something I knitted right before I got here, and you see we have the standard welcome to Ember here, and we're running in an iPad simulator, which you can see right up the top. So I'm just going to open up Vim, just to point out I use Vim. And we'll do welcome to Ember Night, and we're going to save that, which is actually harder than you think one-handed. We'll go back, and that's already reloaded. So as you're actually editing your Ember application, this will work as long as you're connected to the same network that your Mac is connected to. It will actually go through and keep reloading the app. Uh, Chris or RunSpy had spent a lot of time last week fixing that onboarding experience, so you don't even need to tell it what network you're on anymore. That should be landing in the next day or two. It is going through QA. The only caveat here is that if you're doing native work, so you're changing your contacts plugin native to the device, that doesn't hot reload yet. I actually have some theories on how we can pull that off because you can hot reload native code as well. Just something we've not had time to pursue yet. So in short, because this is only a lightning talk, everybody saw it anyway, use Ember Cordova. It's pretty cool. Thank you.